in a race that typically doesn't get much fanfare. The Office of State Treasurer is also heating up. Three candidates have made bids so far, one of those being former congressman for the 4th Congressional District, John Fleming. Fleming is coming off of the heels of his service under former President Donald Trump's administration. There he served in both the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, later as Assistant Secretary for Economic Development in the Commerce Department, and then as Deputy Chief of Staff for Trump in his last year in office. Fleming's background is twofold as a physician and a longtime business owner with Subway sandwich shops still scattered across North Louisiana. He wants to take his experience and love for public service to the treasurer's seat, looking to move this state forward as both both people and companies have fled the state in recent years. We need to look inward. What is it about our tax system, our regulations, all these things? And so with my background, both in government and the private sector, I want to be a big part of that leadership conservative team that we're going to have in 2024, that we bring about the kind of reforms that are going to jettison this state forward to catch up with other states. For too long, Louisiana has been 50th in everything good and number one in everything bad. But one of the primary concerns for Fleming is what he sees as a growing pressure state and nationwide for treasurers to invest in clean energy. Though he believes in natural gas and hydroelectric um, to have proven to be investments, he says many proposals like wind energy have not. There's already a candidate in the race, a Democrat, who's already said that's what he's going to do with taxpayer and pensioner money. And of course, as a conservative, uh, both a fiscal conservative and an ideological conservative and, and as a conservative Republican, I don't believe in doing that. I believe that the money should be invested wisely. It should be protected and it should be done with the best return on investment for those who actually pay the bills, which are the taxpayers and the pensioners. Now that Democrat Fleming references is financial advisor Dustin Granger, whose first campaign ad is largely focused on making what he calls investments in the future. Also in the race is Republican State Representative Scott McKnight.